Girls need to fall in love. Fall in love? Yeah, um... It's the act of starting to love someone. How did you get Mom to fall in love with you? I guess... I guess I wasn't afraid to show her that I loved her. How'd you show her? I wrote her. Poems. Every chance that I had. Between drills, I was guarding my post when we were in transit. And when I was finally done and I got home, there she was, waiting for me at the station. Joseph, Joseph Colangelo? Bobby, Bobby Lupino, eighth grade. You stole my crayons, you tried to sell them back to me? Well, you were the guy who used to carry the funny briefcase around. That's right, uh, I had to keep my art supplies close by. You still got that racing form in that back pocket? Let me see. <laughs> so did you hear? I'm a doctor now. Really? Yeah, pulmonology. Out the island, Stewart Manor. I just came in to see my mother. She's on Bay in 22nd. What happened in this neighborhood? It's all poo-poo platter now. Where did the Italians go? Well, you know, things change. So they say. The night time, the now this. Time this is the genuine article. Instead of forgetting with somebody else. Uh, maybe see what other acts are out there before you go trippy. Charlie and his boys play at all the hottest clubs. London, Paris, Van. Now that's the type of fella who can rip out your heart and drag it through broken glass. And you love every moment of it. Dreaming and drinking your life away all the while. <laughs> <laughs> see? Greta agrees. Walter, I really don't think no, that... No, 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 no. I know you yeah, yeah. won't regret this. Believe me, you're gonna love her. A toast to my beautiful wife, Vivian, who helped me in choosing this smashing band. Real credit to the cause, if I do say so myself. And of course to Charlie and his shooting stars, sure to be the talk and envy of every goddamn club owner in Manhattan. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Why did he call us like that? I'm assuming it was to thank us. Thank us? He already thanked us in court. Why does he need to thank us again? What difference does it make? Never thought I'd have to see his face again. Relax. Jakey, have you ever seen a bigger puss in your life before? I mean, really. It's as if though you're actually scared of him. Of course I'm fucking scared of him. I know what he's capable of. And so do you. Psychopath. Psychopath is our client. When we were his lawyers, we did our damn job. We never should have taken this job. What is this moral dilemma now? We needed this goddamn job. How long were we waiting for a high-profile case? Uh, Wendell, if it wasn't for this job, our firm would have collapsed by now, and you'd have no job at all. Fuck right or wrong. Fuck morals. In fact, I think we deserve a bit of thanks for the job that we did.